the whole point is that it's a play. The whole point is that it, everything is just happening, and it is whatever it's going to be. And there's no... Just put it out there. You know what a camera is? You guys know what a camera is? Do you know what that means? You know, that's how it, that's how it, that's how it should feel. It's just whatever it is. I should figure that out better. Whatever it is. But if your life's a play, and then you're always on the cameras, and then uh, with that reflects and like what that is, and then it should be pretty evident to you what's really going on, and this is just a big, gigantic can of camera that you just can't stop laughing about. That's what life is. But to some people, it's like madness. Or just sadness or whatever and I don't I don't know it's like every day you gotta wake up and realize that it's can't a camera and it's like she's just like a little stupid am for doing this or I can't believe and you realize and like mercury, mercury retrograde or whatever it's everyone is like bringing this term back and it's really just it's it's the computers it's just assimilating to the way your patterns are and like making you Realize, like, you gotta be patient, and you gotta not care about anything, even know that this could be, like, the fail-safe, and, like, that's the craziest thing about the whole point, is it could be, like, the fail-safe, and there's some philosopher, you know, Frankfurt, more Harmford Jensen, whatever, said that he believes in the same thing, and, and the fail-safe, it's the fucking fail-safe, it's the whole idea of the fucking fail-safe, it's the whole idea, and it's, like, it just means that it simulates, it just simulates everything, so... Mercury retrograde, or whatever is this term, and people have been feeling, oh, my technology, my, but basically it's, it's the failsafe saying, you don't use this anymore, you don't need this, this is like ruining you. You'll eventually do what all of that surmounts to somehow, but if you petrify yourself by, by being basically unbalanced by all your, your um, not so much even items, you gotta get rid of everything to a certain extent. But, I mean, if you want to, holographically, so many people are doing it, you can get caught in a different wave, and you can kind of do it, but not as much as other people. Everyone perceives it differently. That's what, Buddha, that's what Buddhism is saying about, like, if you b believe that you don't believe, then that's what you need to believe, you know. Um, and that's the whole point of it and standing in belief, but that's the whole thing of reflection, it's the whole thing, I mean, the hologram at its most base level, holographic understanding of the earth and, and why the universe and whatever, the most base level, is to just because the humans are emulating what the stars show them, that's a hologram, like, that's them trying to reproduce, repro reproduce everything from what they've seen, they don't know what stars are, from the great unknown, we still... We say things, we give it names, we give it all these things, but that's the great hologram. That's that's the Big Bang, the, the theory of like how this opened up. This is the like the, the understanding is that 
If you understand it, you reflected on something, then you can constantly being reflected and been reflecting your whole entire existence and there's this level of mass that is matter but not matter when brought to light into different ways and photons the understanding of how we repel and through filters and how our consciousness we built into this thing. We're all part of this gigantic understanding. But cameras, light and, and, and matter, I mean, if you want to take the camera, what are you taking pictures of? You're taking pictures of the, of the people. And they're already the matter. But the idea of to reflect and see that Tesla was talking about something that could create matter. Now you guys get it? Like, <clears throat> he can create matter through this machine, like literally. And I think it was tied in with that in search of, because that guy in search of used to do this thing or whatever, he used to make the impressions of things on the camera. As the, and he was, these were camera cameras. These were very, and it, 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 it went, but people don't understand that phenomena, that understanding is like, that guy's projecting physical matter into a picture that's already been it's it's a level of like he was in the future using psionics like and people didn't see they just saw what they saw and I gotta find that I gotta find that and put that together as a video if I can that's what this is it's fucking in search of a video whatever that guy projecting like he freaking out and he was like projecting like things onto film that's super, super, super powerful shit, man. That like, if that existed and you saw that and you realize what that really means, that's a realm. That's a realm of possibility because this person created some sort of. They broke, breached it somehow. They got into, um, I guess you would say like, like a wave of some sort and basically created its own rift. Everything has its own creation. But things of that nature, when you see it and realize that not only is he affected because he was able to do that, he was, it's very, it's very, I gotta find that. I gotta find that video of in search of or whatever it is, but it's one of the most craziest things projecting images on f photography as it's being developed. Like, that's pretty, pretty high out there stuff. Uh, if anybody could find it from here, it'd be awesome.